Hello friends, this is Ashu and welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. As the winter season is ending, we have received plenty of requests on how to organize winter wear or woolens properly. In India, winter season is for about 4 months or less, from November till February. So our woolens are not in use for more than 8 months. But they do need extra space and care so that we can reuse them next year. So let's see how we can care and store our woolens properly. Bring all the woolens at one place, used, unused, clean, unclean. Clean or the unused ones will directly go for the sun drying and then storage. Now for the used and unclean woolens, separate them into two heaps, one for the home wash and another for dry cleaning. Cleaning and washing is very important as unclean woolens attract harmful moths. Wash the woolens with gentle fabric wash. They are specially made for woolens and delicate fabrics. Few of the delicate woolens will need hand wash. Although these days most of the woolens can be washed in machine. Don't wring especially the delicate ones. Instead, roll them in towel to soak the excess water. Exact washing instructions can easily be found on the attached labels. Depending on the type, it may have restrictions for dry cleaning, machine wash or hot water etc. For more understanding on these labels, please see the description box below. Once all the clothes are washed and most of the water drained off, lay them flat on the floor or any cloth drying rack. Please don't hang woolens immediately after the wash. Weight of water may distort their shape. Once dried up, place all the clothes under the sun. Sun drying helps removing all the remaining moisture or any existing moths. 100% naturally and chemical free. Now bring all the woolens at one place and start folding them properly. Woolens lose their shape and get wrinkled if not folded properly. Please, just don't dump them in storing bag or box. Woolens need proper care and storage for longevity. Now here is a useful tip. Use soft toothbrush or hairbrush to remove any lint that you may have on your woolens. Coming to the storage, once all the clothes are folded, you may use various options such as cardboard box, plastic box, non-woven bags or traditional sandooks for storage. I use this old suitcase which is not used for travel anymore, but it still provides excellent storage space at no extra cost at all. Since this is an old suitcase, I prefer to wrap the clothes in a cotton bed sheet. Now to protect them from insects or moth, keep some moth balls inside. For chemical free option, make a DIY anti-moth cotton balls by using some cotton balls and lavender oil. Just pour some drops of lavender oil onto the cotton balls and place them in each corner of the box. Smell of lavender repels moth and they will stay away from woolens. For additional clothes, I use this non-woven box. and for their protection I use the same moth balls. Since I am not using any wrapping here, I have covered the moth ball in an old piece of muslin cloth. This is to avoid direct contact of moth balls with clothes. Alternatively, you may use DIY lavender cotton balls. I recently come across another amazing way to store all the woolens, blankets and quilts which are these efficient space saving and reusable vacuum bags from Bonita. They are cost effective and come in user friendly sizes. First, place the woolen inside the bag. Now seal the bag with this clip which comes along with the bag. Take a vacuum cleaner, remove all the air using this convenient opening and then tighten the cap properly. This is the best way to use these vacuum bags. But if you don't have access to vacuum cleaner, then you may use this air suction pump which can be separately purchased. 
Frankly speaking, it does reasonably okay job, but it takes bit of your time and effort. Don't get startled by seeing the shape of the bat transform. It's perfectly fine. As there is hardly any air inside, they are not only a big space saver, but also protect clothes from moth, mildew and humidity without any extra effort and all that tam jam. You can also store your seasonal clothes, blankets and quilts in these bags and save a lot of space. Please find the link of this and other products in the description box if you're interested in buying them online. Now once packed properly, store the boxes or vacuum bags to a dedicated place. Mostly in every house, there is a place to store woolens and blankets. Like, I store them in my bed storage. You can clearly see for yourself that storing in vacuum bags does take lesser space as compared to the traditional ways of storing. That's it, we are done. Using a correct method of washing and storing can prolong the life of your woolens. Believe me, we have not purchased any new woolens from last 6-7 years and it saves so much money every year. The only thing we need to care about is storing them properly. One more thing, don't wash your woolens every day. Wash only after wearing them 5-6 times or if they get dirty. Woolens lose their softness and shine if washed often. And don't forget to show your woolens some sunshine when you take them out in next winter. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share this video with your family and friends and do subscribe to our channel for more organizing videos. I'll see you next week. Till then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.